And it came, uh, to, uh, they came to the place which God had told him of, and Abraham built a Mizbeach there, an altar, and laid the wood in order. The uh, it's the wood. It's in the plural. The word is in the plural, and made the akeda, the binding of Yitzhak, his son, and laid him on the Mizbeach upon the wood. And actually, you can see there, woods. It's actually in the plural, woods. Now, we're going to go around and we're going to look at this. And we're going to ask God to open our eyes because there was a burden that had to be carried that day. And it was going to be carried ultimately by the Ben Abraham Zumfunder Eibister, who would schlep, pick up, bear, carry the wood all the way to the Mizbeach Golgotha place where God had made arrangements. And unless we carry our it's of Moshiach. We cannot be his Talmud, his disciple. And today I want to speak about this verse in Bereshus chapter 22, verse 9. And I want to I want to refer specifically to the to, to the Lord and, and and how we must do some schlepping. Uh, for him. Now you may feel like some of your burdens are too heavy to carry. And you may say, oh, the burden of this house, I want a small condominium. I can't take care of this house anymore. Or the burden of my aging parents taking care of them, being a caregiver, it's too much. Or the burden of this debt, carrying this debt, oh, it's too much. College and all of these financial woes, it's just too much. But there's a scripture in Philippians chapter 4, which says, My God, my God, the God of Sh Shaul, you know, uh, David said, My shepherd, you know, my Lord. The Lord said to my Lord, my shepherd, um, uh, my God shall supply all your needs, all of them, every need you have. Now, unfortunately, sometimes we have a perceived need or an assumed need that is not a real need. But God knows our real needs. Now, in, in Jewish ministry, I have done my, my share of schlepping. I remember schlepping 14 Jewish grandmothers in a, in a, a bus. I remember schlepping Linda's uh, dialysis bags in those heavy boxes. I remember schlepping a heavy air conditioner up the stairs of Beth Shalom. And when we get the food, we don't just do homeless outreach, but we do a, a feeding program. When we get the food for those poor Muslim mothers and their children, yeah, there's some young men that that schlep these things into the car. But once we get to Beth Shalom, uh, it's, it's up to me to do the schlepping. But, you know, when I had this crate of, of heavy, heavy uh, ears of corn, so there was something about it to, to pick it up seemed like so, such an evil thing. How could I carry it? And I was even thinking about it before I had to exert the, the, the strength. You know, Samson could pick up some heavy things. He was quite a muscle man. Atlas carried the world on his shoulders, so to speak. But there are things that, so, that, are, that are so daunting that you really, you really shudder to think about picking them up. And there was a reason. You see... God knows your needs, your real needs. The cardiologist didn't know 
until I was on the stress test uh, with the extra cycle type of uh, very heavy exertion with the EKG showing him what he couldn't know otherwise, but even he couldn't verify until the interventional cardiologist with his angiogram camera actually saw one of the arteries, you only have three arteries, one of the arteries almost closed, ready for a heart attack. But God knew about it. Now, look at this, friends. Look at this right here. You know what this is? This is called a hand truck. Now, sometimes in New York City, people actually throw, you know, a, a lamp or maybe they're moving. They don't want to, they, they, they don't really have a, a, a moving van. So they have to schlep stuff in their car. So they, they will throw an old chair out. And sometimes this stuff is pretty good. And uh, there are people who actually can furnish their apartments uh, with the, the stuff that's thrown out on the street in New York. But nobody, friend, nobody ever, 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 ever throws out an expensive steel hand truck, except when the Lord had need of it. And the Lord had need of this hand truck. And there it was, it had my name on it almost, you might say. And I put it in the car, hallelujah. And this hand truck kept me from having a heart attack, I'm sure. And this hand truck bought me some time to get to the cardiologist, to get to the interventional cardiologist on October the 6th, 2017, to get the angiogram, to get the angioplasty, to get the little balloon to push the, the uh, closure, the, the, the plaque to push it out and leave the stent, the metal stent, so that it would not collapse so that there would be no stroke, no heart attack. The Lord supplied all my needs Amen. according to his riches. Hallelujah. We're talking about the messianic riches of the inheritance and glory. We're talking about the pearly gates and the streets of gold. We're talking about the, 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 the river of uh, Mayim Haim. Uh, we're talking about all those things that are coming. Paul said, look, I had a need and you met my need. Now God's going to meet your need, Philippians. And he was referring specifically to Lydia, that wealthy businesswoman who had provided not only her house, but her substance to keep Paul going on the, uh, on the trip that he was taking as a shaliach with the Basurus Hageolah to the ends of the earth. And it might have seemed like a burden. And sometimes those of you who are out there who are supporting a lot of these people and you're writing the checks, it may seem like a burden. But I want to tell you something. Paul said, you met my need. God's going to meet your need according to his riches. Friend, my God is rich. Can you say amen? amen. My God is rich. And, and if you're doing his work, he will come through. He has a hand truck. And he is the burden bearer. Now, some of you say, well, my motto is U-Haul. You know, I believe God helps those who helps them, help themselves. And, and you know what? I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it my own way. Well, I have some bad news for you. There are some things you cannot schlep. There are some things you cannot carry. You need a burden bearer. Those wicked people out in Hollywood, those wicked, evil people who've caused so many to stumble, they were so incensed with Mel Gibson and his movie, especially the long, long scene where Yeshua is, is seen to be schlepping and schlepping and dropping and having to pick it back up and falling. He's bleeding to death practically from being beaten to death almost and and that scene was very graphic but now he's uh, having lost all that blood and having completely lost his strength he can't pick it up but there's somebody named Simon who is commandeered he, he's coming in from the country I guess he's a farmer or something in Jerusalem 
and, 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 and the Roman soldier says, here, you, you pick it up. You help him carry it. And, and, uh, and later on in Mark chapter 15, when Mark is in Rome, you say, Mark got to Rome. Here's this kid. He, he flakes out on, on the, the, the uh, first uh, miss, uh, missionary journey. Uh, you know, the, the journey of the sh Shalhim, the, the uh, emissaries. You hate that word missionary, but it's too bad because uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful word. It's somebody who has a mission. Do you have a mission for Mashiach? Do you, uh, are, you a, are you an emissary of the real Mashiach, not some phony Mashiach buried out in old Montefiore Cemetery, moldering in the grave, but the real Mashiach who stood up alive on the third day? Yes, who slept, who bore away your sins. The word is in Leviticus chapter 16, verse 22, for the scapegoat. The word is also in the last verse of Isaiah 53, Nasa. He, he, he carried it away. He, his hand truck uh, carried, it, carried your sin away. You cannot carry away your own sin, friend. Somebody might say, well, you mean, uh, you're talking about Rufus. Yeah, I am talking about Rufus. You know, when I had an agony to carry in Florida, there was a man named Rufus that the Lord sent who was with me all the time to help me carry that agony. There's agony sometimes that we have to carry for the Lord. But that Rufus was there for me. This Rufus was famous. He was chosen in the Lord. His father was the great schlepper of all, Simon of Cyrene. And this guy was known. He was well known. You say, how did this guy, the son of a farmer, the son of Simon, Simon of Cyrene, how did he get to Rome? He was in, in the, his father was in Jerusalem. How did he get all the way to Rome? Well, how did Mark, how did Mark get to Rome? How did Mark get to Rome? You know, how did he get there? Uh, how did Phil Goble get from Oakland City to Fort Lauderdale and then from Fort Lauderdale to Florida? How did that happen? How does, how does anything happen, friend? How does God move mountains? How does he, how does he move away the mountain of your sin? You cannot schlep your own Averos, friend. I don't care how much you fast on Yom Kippur. I don't care what you do in terms of mitzvahs. This is one burden you cannot schlep. And you need someone else to, to carry it. And, and the Lord will provide. My God shall supply. Mm -hmm. He shall supply all your needs. The, the Lord will, will provide. Uh, Yitzhak, the Lord will provide the, the say of the, of the, of the burnt offering. The Lord will provide. As I say, he was led to the slaughter. Hallelujah. We're talking about the son of Abraham, the Zun Funder Oibister, the Yitzhak, who was laid on the wood. The wood was a Mizbeach. He was laid on the wood. The wood was laid on him. He, he, the, 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 our sins, they, he bore away the, our sins. They were laid on him. They were laid on him. Hallelujah. He carried them away. You cannot carry away your own sin. You cannot be your own burden bearer. Where did you get this, this works righteousness concept that, that you could pull yourself up by your own bootstraps? Where, where did you get this U-Haul idea that you could haul it away? That you don't need a mediator. You don't need a kapora. You don't need a burden bearer. You don't need a Mashiach. But you yourself can carry these things away. I could not carry it. I could not carry it. It was a burden I could not carry. It was just a crate. A crate of corn. Of corn. corn on the cob. That's all it was, a crate of corn on the cob. I carried so much, I could not carry this. And the Lord, he had it up there. It was on the sidewalk. It was being thrown out. Nobody wanted it. 
Nobody took it. It had my name on it. Amen. And this is my God. This is my God who shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory. The riches that he has in glory. There are riches in glory. He wants to supply all your needs, but this is the first need, friend. The first need you have is a burden bearer. You can't see that. What is it going to take for you to see that? How much has to be schlepped before you see that? Think of all the all of the the agony of the Jews in the Holocaust, schlepping toward the terrible death camps, schlepping, schlepping, schlepping. And yet even all that schlepping would not be enough. It would not be enough. No, no human being by himself can pay. Nothing he would give would be sufficient. There's no human, human ability to pay this ransom. It takes the, the son of Abraham, the Zun Funder Eibister, he is the one who can carry it away. And he he can. There's no there's no evil in him. He he is he we thought he was a curse of God, but he was wounded for our transgressions. He carried away our sin. He carried your sin away, friend. Oh hallelujah. Amen. When the garbage truck comes by. And the, the man jumps off to pick up the heavy burdens. This morning, when they went by, there was something too heavy. The driver had to get out and help him pick it up to throw it in the back of the garbage truck. There's something that's too heavy for you, friend. Your garbage is too heavy. Only Yeshua can pick it up and carry it away. Let him do it today. Let him do it today. Let him do it today. Don't just read this in Genesis 22, verse 9, about the etzim, the woods, and not realize that there's wood that he carries and wood that you must carry. You cannot be his Talmud unless you pick up yours. You, there's something you must carry but he will help you carry it. He will carry the heaviest part of it. Amen. Yeshua, come into my heart. Forgive my sins. Take the burden. I cast my burden on the Lord because he cares for me. Take the burden of all my guilt and all my sin. You might be on death row. You might have blood on your hands. You may have done unspeakable things. And now your execution is coming and it's well deserved. And yet there's something that even he can carry. There's something that even he can carry that no one can carry. But him, let him carry it today. Let him carry it today. Yeshua, come into my heart and carry this thing. Carry it away Amen. as my burden bearer. And everybody said, Amen. Amen.